Time for another NBA Total Chaos. I'm excited about this one. I've got two champions with me today. My name's Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and this is Total Chaos, a show where I take two expert handicappers and pit them up against each other. I'm giving them three games in the NBA tonight. They're going to tell me which one goes over or under the total, and whoever gets the most correct comes back as the champ. Speaking of champs, Terry Edelman. Record of 64, 58, and 3. You beat Timurel last week with a record of 2 and 1 to make you a four-time in a row consecutive chaos champ. How's it feel to be back? Sorry, I was muted there for a second. Um, it's good. <laughs> um, last week it was close. Uh, yeah. Tim, Tim's like, you won by a hook. And I'm like, which game? And I went and look, and I'm like, oh, it's the one I said would squeak over. Yep. And I said it was gonna be close. I didn't think it would be that close, uh, but hey, two and one, four time champ. Uh, I said in the in the morning wood that I was five a five time champ. I uh, jumped the gun a little bit, so we'll see what happens. Maybe it was just you know like it was a premonition you were having, but this guy is not going to be an easy contestant. Scott Reichel is coming off a tie with Chip Cherimbus. He was also two and one on Chaos last week. You got a record of fifty seven sixty and two. How's it feel to be taken on Terry Scott? Feels fine. It was the first total chaos I was on in about a month and a half, so I'm fresh. Nice uh, to go 66% there. Uh, I can't tell if Terry's trying to insult me by saying that he's won five straight or if he's trying to psych me out. So either way, I'm ready for the competition. Let's do it. Terry is a Canadian, okay? So he's never, ever saying anything mean ever. Just I could tell from that. the accent, you know, when we were talking <laughs> hockey before. So I figured that there part we out. Go. It's his favorite thing to talk. Yeah, he's a wild um, uh, fan, so I'm connecting yeah. some dots as we go. Yes, exactly. Um, so anyone else who's just joining us, don't forget also about my official sports book, Caesar Sportsbook. They're my sponsor, and they've got up to $1,250 bucks in a risk-free first bet for all new accounts. Just download the app and use my promo code WOODFUL. There it is right there. I swear I got a promo code. There it is for you. Okay, so we're going to get this party started. Terry, you're the champ, so you're going to go first with the Raptors and the Kings. It's your neck of the woods, and it's 238 and a half. Yeah, both of these teams, uh, if you look at what they're doing right now, uh, they're going over this number. The Toronto, four of their last five games, uh, they went over this number. Sacramento, six of their last nine, uh, they went over this number. Uh, Sacramento, uh, over team uh, pretty much all year long. But obviously, they have the higher totals when their games are, are involved. Uh, but I like this one to be um, <clears throat> a pretty close affair, perhaps. So I like a lot of points on both sides. Uh, so I think this is uh, an over game. All right, Rachel, what do you think? I'm on the over as well. Uh, for Toronto's last five games have had at least 241 points. So we know that Toronto in years past has been more known for their defense. It uh, wasn't working earlier this year, so I guess they decided to punt the defense and double the offense. So they've been having a lot of high-scoring games. Sacramento, though, has been really clicking offensively all season, but especially lately as the Kings have scored at least 127 in seven of their last nine games. I see a lot of points here. We know the Kings want to play up tempo. They don't try to guard anybody half the time. I see a lot of points. I'll go with the over. All right. Keep me, keep me rolling with the Jazz at the Trailblazers. This one's a 237. So for this one, I was initially tempted by the over because the Trailblazers had that massive 147 game last time out against the Spurs. But I think I'm going to go with the under in this one. I think this number is a little bit too high. Each of the first two meetings this season had less than 232. Six of Utah's last seven games have had less than 236. So the Jazz, who are not known for being a good defensive team, have actually been okay over the past week defensively. And I think they can potentially keep that rolling against Portland. And the under is 4-1 and one in the last five meetings. I think there'll be points in this game. I just don't think there's going to be this many points in this game. Give me a game that lands in the low 230s, maybe high 220s. But based on what I've seen in the first two meetings, I think this number is a little bit too high. I'm going to lean to the under. All right, Mr. Edelman. Yeah, it's it's so funny because me and Dre, the, uh, two weeks ago, we disagreed on every pick. Last week, me and Tim disagreed on every pick. <laughs> but now me and Scott are agreeing I'm on the under as well. Uh, basically, better? yeah, both these teams are trending under right now. Uh, they tried it under in the past. Yes, there's been a couple high-scoring games uh, lately for these teams, but um, for the most part, they go under. So I'm going to go with the under uh, in this one as well. 
All right, Spurs are at the Lakers. It's a two thirty-seven and a half. Lot. This is all like the same realm of totals, right around two thirty-seven. These totals are huge. <laughs> They're absolutely and enormous, a half, All three yeah, of our but... games. Yeah. All right, what you got, Terry? And get ready this... with a tiebreaker if you guys agree, Scott. If you're going to agree with him, get ready with tiebreaker. I always end up in a tiebreaker situation. You do end up in tiebreakers yeah. a lot. This this one's tough. Um, Lakers are trending more towards the under. It's kind of even. <laughs> Uh, they've gone over in three of their last seven, so three over, four under. The San Antonio on the other side, six over, two under. Uh, they don't know what defense is, uh, the San Antonio Spurs. So uh, this one's kind of uh, one game went over when they faced each other, two went under. Uh, so I'm, I'm really stuck on this one. Uh, but I'm going to go with the over just because the Spurs don't have a defense, and I think the Lakers will be able to get some points here. God, I'm, I know I'm, that I'm on the over. I'm on the over. <laughs> I mean, I was really torn on this one too, and it's especially concerning because the Lakers play tonight. So there's always a chance LeBron does not play the second leg of a back to back. So right. if LeBron, of course, is not playing, then I'll cheat and I'll switch my pick to the under. But no, assuming <laughs> LeBron plays tomorrow in this game, I think I have to lean to the over. I mentioned how Portland scored 147 last game. That was against San Antonio. So that tells you what San Antonio's defense is doing. Uh, the last meeting landed 281, and the Spurs have allowed at least 131 points in five of their last six games. They are one of the worst defensive teams I've ever seen based on the last couple of weeks. So I'll lean to the over for now. But once again, I got to wait to see if LeBron's going to play or not. There are rumors maybe Anthony Davis comes back for this game, or maybe he'll be Ooh. back against the Celtics later in the week. So keep an eye on those two injuries, but I'll lean over. Once again, if LeBron's missing this game, I'm probably just going to lean under, but of course I don't have that luxury now. So I'll lean to the over. Okay, before we get to your tiebreaker picks, I want to let the people know where they can find more of you. Terry, you are number one over at picksandparlays.net right now. You're the hottest capper in the whole hot dang gang of them. Um, so people, head over to picksandparlays.net and use the promo code NFL to save 20% off of Terry's premium plays. But let them know what else you've got going on um, with Let's Go Wild and Getting Wild with Terry and Friends. Yeah, um, it's more getting wild with Terry now. Uh, I changed the show. Um, I wanted it earlier in the day. Uh, so now it's on it between 1230 to 1. Uh, so right before uh, Morning Wood. Uh, and just me going through the NHL slate uh, of that day. Also doing a look ahead show with Nick on uh, Monday and Wednesday nights. So we'll be looking ahead at the Tuesday, Thursday slates of hockey. And just telling people what games we think the lines are going to move towards. Uh, teams you want to bet that right now, teams you might want to wait, depending on what you like. Um, so, yeah, um, other than that, you can find me at Picks and Parlays. Um, things are going well right now. Always love when that's happening, so uh, hopefully you keep it going. All right, and use the promo code NFL, remember, to get his premium plays. You get 20% off Terry's best bets. Scott Reichel, tell the people what you're all about. It's all about free picks for me. So on Winners Winners page, I got a free video every night with a pick. Besides that, I was on the NFL show with Steen uh, that should be airing on Thursday. Uh, also going to be on, of course, the uh, player prop drop, the newly titled player prop yes. drop with Allie and this show a couple We're times a week. We're getting a thumbnail. We're getting a thumbnail. Huge, huge, yeah. you know, huge moves for us. You know, hopefully <laughs> that pays off. But either way. Uh, also doing a bunch of podcasts. You can find those on Twitter. So long story short, if you want free picks, check out my Twitter. Beautiful. At Rideshaw Radio. Okay, so Terry, what is your tie-breaking pick? Yeah, I'm going to go with a side. Uh, I'm going to go with the side of the NBA. Uh, that's probably going to make the site too. So this is probably going to be one of my site yeah. plays for tomorrow. Uh, but give me, and it's a game we talked about. I'll take the Sacramento Kings minus four. Kings minus four. All right, Rachel, what do you got? All right. Well, since this is a total chaos, total show, I'll stick with totals. Um, I'll go with the I'll go with the over 238 and a half in the Raptors Kings game. I just see a bunch of points. I think at the end of the day, with the Raptors recent surge offensively and the Kings pace with their let's just say willingness to ignore defense. I think you'll see points in that game. <laughs> So same game, but I'll stick with one of the three I gave out. I'll just say the Raptors one's my favorite total of the three we talked about. Okay. Now I what like happens if both cash? Because we just tie. Totally I had happen. that exact then, Yeah, that's what happened with Chip. Then you just tie. Uh, 
I believe according to like UFC and boxing rules, you have to beat the champ in order to be the champ. So you'd Ooh. retain your title based on a draw. I think that's how yeah. it goes. So I have to I, like I have to actually beat you in order to become champion. I think. Yeah, right. I would agree with that. I think that's that's. But you could also you have to demand a rematch at that point. You know, I thought we just get because a we agreed on everything. Yeah. Basically, Sacramento Kings have to lose or not win by four, and then you win. Right. Has to not cash. Not well, he has to cash his. Too. I have to cash mine. If we both lose the yeah. tie break and we tie everything else, then we. End but we're on that. We're both on that play, though. Like we're both on that over, right? Yeah. No, because you took the Kings minus four. So no, my point to... is, I'll count my play twice. My tiebreaker oh, play okay, will okay, separate from saying. whatever. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. He was saying because I'm using the same play. If that only yeah. counts, oh, I'm not I cheating. See, no, see. that's a separate, yeah. a separate thing. It's fine. Okay, perfect. Cool. We're we got there. We got there. All right, yes, everyone. we get an immediate rematch. I believe it's in the uh, fine print of the contract that if yeah. it's a tie, you get an immediate rematch clause. I think. And you sign that in Raspberry Jam, right? Yeah, I'm waiting for okay. you to show up, Chip. I need my rematch. <laughs> I will make it happen for you next week. Tomorrow, I've got, um, oh, shoot. I had a whole thing I was going to say, and now I've forgotten it. Dre Richardson and somebody else, Tim Earl. You are posted it on tomorrow. Twitter. So, Yes, that's just it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Like I always say, may the best capper win. Good luck.